All right, I have my uh, Handy Helper Ace right here. I am going to show you how to uh, rig up your bumper boy so that way you can uh, run run them off of Tritronics or Dog Tray Electronics. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is actually uh, remove the uh, release mechanism right there off the top of the servo. Then after you pull that off, go and unscrew those four uh, screws right there and then you'll be able to just get that uh, servo right on out. Now real quick I'm going to cover a few things that you're going to need uh, in order to do this conversion. Uh, one thing it's a good idea to have a bunch of wire. Uh, I do not typically use the wire that you just get right along with the bumper boy uh, just for the fact that it's so small and uh, the smaller the wire the harder it is to transfer that current and you'll get a less uh, reliable release normally granted you can do it with it but it's less reliable uh, next thing I like to have a 9 volt battery with just so then that way you can test the direction of the servo have a 1 8 inch uh, phone plug don't get the stereo one the phone plug works much better with dog trend tritronics electronics uh, releases uh, nice to have a side cutters and a pair of uh, just uh, wire strippers and then gotta have your little screwdriver granted I use my drill uh, but uh, you know whatever works so once you have the servo off just go and take those uh, four screws out of the bottom a few other things that uh, are pretty helpful is having a hot glue gun and then also your soldering iron pretty much uh, need that one now I took out the four screws down at the bottom or bolts uh, and then uh, just for uh, demonstrations and because it makes it a lot faster I took off the very top now uh, right away I like to just take everything off the top it all goes together pretty smoothly uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory once you look at it close enough and then you can just pull the entire guts out now I just set the phone down real quick and uh, all you do is after you take that off the top you should just be able to pull this straight on out and you're going to want to there are those two bigger soldering marks right there and right there those are the connectors to the actual motor itself go and heat those two on up and then you'll be able to pull that uh, motor off of that uh, plate also it's nice to have a third hand so that's why I'm using the vise now uh, if you aren't going to use the wires off of that uh, plate, just go and take a side cutters, clip them, and then pull that white wire off. Now I should just have two uh, bare black and white wires, or black and red wires, sorry about that. Uh, and then the uh, plate right here. Now, uh, just for simplicity purposes, I usually just clip those three uh, little wires right there, so that way I can hot glue this little piece in there because that actually helps hold the little gear. Now I clip that off the top and you can actually see there's that little uh, rectangle coming up through that little uh, circle right there. That's what that is and there's actually little clips in there. But uh, all I do is I take a little bit of hot glue and I, I help secure that in there. If you're worried about how the gears actually go in on top that is how done uh, just uh, the way I remember it is the two outside ones are sticking straight up and then the middle one is facing down so just pretty much uh, the black one has to stick up through the top so that's how it goes so after you uh, super glue that one piece on in there all you should have left is the motherboard or whatever you want to call it right there and then uh, the motor and now we are going to take the red wire and connect that to the side the terminal on the uh, little electric motor with the red dot on it and the black side to that and then that way we will be able to uh, hook it on up to a audio jack one other thing as you can see right here I am not doing it inside of the little servo itself uh, because uh, when I solder I tend to heat up everything around it and I don't like melting the uh, 
uh, servo uh, boxes up so I just uh, solder everything up right here so then that way uh, I don't wreck anything I don't want to alright now you can see that I got it all soldered up in there next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plop it down in there and I'm going to use the hot glue gun right there to help secure it now uh, like I said before you're going to want a 9 volt battery so that way you can actually see which way this will spin so then uh, positive will make it spin clockwise and that is so for this uh, purpose right here I actually need uh, the servo to spin left so I would actually need to go and put the black in the middle because on the um, on the Tritronics receivers uh, if, if you normally hook the motors on up with the red you'll normally put the power to the middle but for some reason this is a little bit different so that's why it's wise to go and check also another thing you want to do before you actually